he always was looking right and left or over his shoulder uh, at what might be or what what could I do next. It took me all the 60s to try everything that I could think of to find out exactly what it was I wanted to do anyway. But just about the end of the 60s, it just started to come together. Strange games they would play then No death for the perfect men Life rolls into one for them Through circumstances, I'd run into a drummer called John Cambridge and Tony Visconti and Mick Ronson, and we put together a band called Hype. It was probably my first costume band. As far as I'm aware, that was the very first so-called glam rock gig. Hype was very important to David's development. This was the only way he could see at that time that he could uh, be famous, become famous and become, become well-known. 